Unit ninety seven, the Oregon Trail. The United States was settled by people moving west. The eastern part of the country was settled fairly early, but in the mid eighteen hundreds, people were talking about. Going to far western regions, they heard about rich farm land along the west coast. They heard about gold in California. Many wanted to start over to build new lives. They wanted to be pioneers. One trail. In particular, was utilized by these pioneers. It was the Oregon Trail. It began at Independence, Missouri. It ended in Fort Vancouver, Oregon. The distance was about two thousand miles. Travel on this trail was hard. The first part of it crossed the dusty plains. Here, the weather changed constantly. Then it climbed and crossed the Rockies through the steep, hard South Pass. Most people traveled the trail by covered wagon. Inside the wagon. Were all their possessions. Women and children usually rode and slept in there. Wagons had canvas tops. These were soaked in oil. This made them rainproof. Usually, oxen pulled the wagons. People brought these. Animals along to plow their new farms, but the oxen couldn't climb well. They had to be pushed up mountain passes. Often wagons got stuck in the mud. Then people would have to lighten the wagons. Sometimes. This meant throwing out possessions. If there was no bridge across a river, the oxen had to haul the wagons across. Along the trail were several fords. People could pick up some supplies at these and repair broken wheels. Or axles, but food, water, and wood were usually hard to get. Between 1845 and 1859, about 280,000 people used the Oregon Trail to go west. Unit 97: The Oregon Trail, the United States. Was settled by people moving west. The western part of the country was settled fairly early, but in the mid 1800s, people were talking about going to far western regions. They heard about rich farm land along the west coast. They heard about gold in California. Many wanted to start over to build new lives. They wanted to be pioneers. One trail in particular was utilized by these pioneers. It was the Oregon Trail. It began at Independence, Missouri. It ended in Fort Vancouver, Oregon. The distance was about two thousand miles. Travel on this trail was hard. The first part of it crossed the dusty plains. Here, the weather changed constantly. Then it climbed and crossed the Rockies. Through the steep, hard South Path, most people traveled the trail by covered wagon. 
Inside the wagon were all their possessions. Women and children usually rode and slept in there. Wagons had canvas tops. These were soaked in oil. This made them rainproof. Usually, oxen pulled the wagons. People brought these animals along to plow their new farms, but the oxen couldn't climb well. They had to be pushed up mountain passes. Often, wagons got stuck in the mud. Then people would have to lighten the wagons. Sometimes, this meant throwing out possessions. If there was no bridge across the river, the oxen had to haul the wagons across along the trail. Were several fords. People could pick up some supplies at these and repair broken wheels or axles, but food, water, and wood were usually hard to get. Between 1845 and 1859, about 280,000 people used the Oregon Trail to go west. Unit 98, Booker T. Washington, Early Years, Tuskegee. Institute, what is it? Where is it? If you said, it is a historical black college in Alabama. You are correct. Is it as old as Yale, Harvard, or Princeton? No, it was founded in 1881. But its history. Is just as exciting. Harvard was founded by John Harvard, but who founded Tuskegee? The answer: Booker T. Washington. Washington was born as a slave. The year was 1858 or 1859. After the slaves were freed. His family moved to West Virginia. As a child, Washington had to work in a mine, but he met one African American there. This man read newspapers to the others. He inspired Washington to learn to read himself. One man at the mine spoke about a college for blacks. Washington was thrilled. He found the full name. It was the Hampton Normal and Agricultural Institute. It was located in Virginia. The school was five hundred. Miles away, Washington was determined to study there. The institute had been founded by the American Missionary Association. That group was founded in Boston by fighters against slavery. The teachers were from the North. Their goal was to train young African American men and women, to train them as skilled craftsmen, to make good farmers of them, to teach women to be skilled homemakers. The plan was this: these trained African Americans. Would train other African Americans. Many at the school were ex-slaves. They needed help to do well in white society. This school would greatly influence Washington. It would help him when he set up Tuskegee. Unit ninety-eight. Booker T. Washington Early Years, Tuskegee Institute. What is it? Where is it? If you said it is a historical black college in Alabama, you are correct. Is it as old as Yale, Harvard, or Princeton? No, it was founded in 1881. 
but its history is just as exciting. Harvard was founded by John Harvard, but who founded the Tuskegee? The answer: Booker T. Washington. Washington was born as a slave. The year was 1858 or 1859. After the slaves were free, his family moved to West Virginia. As a child, Washington had to work in the mine, but he met one African American there. This man read newspapers to the others. He inspired Washington to learn to read himself. One man at the mine spoke about a college for blacks. Washington was thrilled. He found the full name. It was the Hampton Normal and Agricultural Institute. It was located in Virginia. The school was 500 miles away. Washington was determined to study there. The institute had been founded by the American Missionary Association. That group was founded in Boston by fighters against slavery. The teachers were from the North. Their goal was to train young African American men and women, to train them as skilled craftsmen, to make good farmers of them, to teach women to be skilled homemakers. The plan was this: these trained African Americans would train other African Americans. Many at the school were ex-slaves. They needed help to do well in white society. This school would greatly influence Washington. It would help him when he set up Tuskegee.